In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page in WordPress in 2022. So landing pages are essentially the most important digital asset that your business has online because they are the thing that allows you to create your email list, AKA to build your list of prospects of potential customers where people will in the future buy from you. Most of the sales in your business that are going to come, most of your clients, your customers are most likely not going to come through your social media statistically, most of them will probably come through your email list. And that's why landing pages and building your email list is so important. Now, in order to build this landing page here with me on this video, you're going to need three different tools. And let me tell you before I tell you what those tools are. If up until now you have been feeling like, I'm just not tech savvy or I'm technophobic or I'm not really good with tech or I'm having trouble building my website. I'm sure it'll be difficult to build my landing page. My friend, you are dead wrong. You have no problem with tech. You are not technophobic. You are not bad at this. You simply have been using the wrong tools. Once you have the right toolbox to use in your online business, building funnels and pages and websites and anything else that you might need for your business will become a breeze. I promise you. And this video will actually prove it to you, right? So here are the tools that you will need for this video in order to create a landing page with me here. The first tool you will need is obviously a WordPress website installed. The second tool you will need is what I like to call a website builder. This is kind of like a plugin or an add on that we put on top of your WordPress website because that's the thing that allows us to build uh, pages and funnels dead easily with a drag and drop interface without using code, right? Now, the tool that I'm using for all of my online businesses, as well as all of my clients businesses is called Thrive Suite. And you can learn all about it in attireway.com forward slash thrive, right? So make sure that that one is installed on your WordPress as well. And if you don't know how, simply go to this video. I'm going to put it in a card here or maybe here in one of those sites here where I will walk you through step by step and in installing WordPress and installing Thrive and anything else that you might need. So once you have that, the third tool that you will need is an email marketing tool, right? Because once all of those leads are going to come through your opting page, you will need a place to put them in email marketing service so that you can legally follow up with them and send them emails. Now, the email tool that I recommend is called Active Campaign, and you can learn all about it in a tireway.com forward slash email. Now, once you have all of those three tools, you are ready for some action. I'm going to dive into my computer and let's get going on creating your landing page on WordPress in 2022. So in order to create your landing page on WordPress in 2022, what you want to do is first step number one is to build the page, right? So what you want to do is you want to go into your WordPress admin dashboard under yourdomain.com forward slash WP dash admin and simply hover over the place where it says pages and click on add new. And this will allow you to create a fresh new WordPress page onto your WordPress website. Once you do that, simply give your page a name. In this case, I'm just going to call it freebie because I'm going to give away a freebie on this page. And what you will notice is that WordPress will immediately give your page a link. So what you want to do, if you want to change that link and call it freebie one or anything like that, do this here under permalinks and URL slug. And once you do that, simply click on publish in order to save. Before we do anything else, I want you to save to make sure that this page will not get lost. And if you're going to click on this link, you will already see that your page is live. It's simply ugly right now and doesn't have anything inside, right? Then once you do that, what you want to do is to click on launch Thrive Architect, which is one of the sub tools within Thrive Suites that allow you to essentially build your pages super, super easily. Right now, I do have a different training on this channel showing you how to create this from scratch and everything, but that training is kind of long. And I do realize that some people just want to get this over with as quickly as we can. So for this particular training, I'm going to use a template and you will see how I can build this page super, super fast. So what I'm going to do once I clicked on a launch Thrive Architect, Thrive Architect will ask me what page would you like to create? And I'm going to choose pre-built landing page because once I do that, it will take me to Thrive's page library where they have a bunch of different pages already pre-built. And all you need to do is to simply pick one and your page will be built like that. 
Now, not to worry, you can add it all of the colors, all of the fonts, add, remove elements as much as you want. You just want a template so that it will be easier for you to get started with, right? Now, in this case, I'm going to choose the Chick Smart template because I'm a chick and like I do want to be smart one day. So I'm just going to choose that one. And then once I'm inside like the Chick Smart Pages templates, I'm going to choose Chick Smart Lead Generation page. I'm going to click on that and click Apply Template. And once I do that, bam, 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 magic is about to happen because within just a few seconds, my page will already be built. Just behold and look at the magic happening. I'm going to give it just a few seconds to load and already you see that my page is built. If I'm going to click on save work in order to save my template and I'm going to click on preview in order for WordPress to take me to my landing page, you already see that I have a landing page already built, already there. All I need to do is to change some text and I'm done, right? So here's what I want to do here. Once this page is built, let's move on to step number two, which is editing the page, right? Right now, I want to make it my own to kind of like show people what I want to give them because what Thrive shows me here is just an example. So what I did is I've already pre-made some copy, essentially the words that I'm going to use on my page. So this is my headline. I'm simply going to highlight it, copy it, and then I'm going to go back into my page editor. I'm going to click Control A to choose everything and paste as plain text to kind of like move my headline in here, right? And once I'm going to save it, my headline is already on this page. So once my headline is on the page, the next thing that you notice is that it's a little bit big, isn't it? So I'm just gonna click on the headline, go to main options and other font size. I'm just gonna scroll left in order to make it a little bit smaller. That's nice, 38 is nice. And then I want to add a sub headline below because I have one here in my copy. So I'm going to copy my text here by clicking on copy. And then here on Thrive, I'm going to click on the plus to add a new element. And I'm going to choose text and I'm going to drag and drop it here below my headline. And I'm going to paste that in here. Right now, as you can see, the space is too big and it's too gray. So the first thing I'm going to do is to click back on my headline and remove the spacing under layout and position. I'm just going to, instead of 50, maybe put a space of 15, which you will see immediately brought the sub headline up. And then I'm going to change the sub headline. I just want to change the color into black click apply and change the size from 18 to maybe 25. Yeah, that's better. And then I want to add a little bit of a space here below. So I'm just going to underline spacing, pull it a little bit down. And then once I save it, I'm going to give it a few seconds to load and click on preview. You will immediately see that my page is already here with my copy right? Which is pretty cool. Now, the next thing that I want to do, if you want to edit this image right here, all you need to do is to click on it. But I actually want to change this entire element into an image that I've already pre-created. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to delete all of this. And as you can see, it has like a few different elements here. I'm just going to go for the first one. As you can see, these are kind of like breadcrumbs. So I want to go all the way to the left to where this element began, which is the content box. Click on the trash icon and remove it, bam. And then instead I wanna add a different image. So I'm gonna click on the plus side, click on image and drag and drop it right here below the text. And then Thrive will allow me to choose my image. So I'm just gonna click on upload files, select files and take it straight from my desktop. I'm gonna to go to my desktop, choose the image that I wanna use. In that case, it's called Black Book Lead Magnet and I click on open. Allow Thrive to load it for a second and click on insert into post. Cool. Now, as you can see, the images, images here on the right. So what I want to do is go to layout and position, center my image, and I'm also going to make it slightly smaller. Cool. Now I'm going to remove some spacing. Let's just remove some spacing. And last thing I want to do is to probably remove the space right here, because as you can see, the original one looked really nice where it's like half on the white and half on the on the color. So I'm gonna do the same by simply going to my background section, remove all of the padding from it, and then go back to my image and just push it down here. Cool. 
That's pretty nice. I like that. Okay, cool. Now, next thing that I want to do is, as you can see, I have the, the background of some makeup items here. So I want to remove that one. So I'm going to click on my background section. Go scroll here below in the editing section on background style. And as you can see, this is the image that allow that with all of the makeup. So I'm simply going to delete that and delete the solid color that I've already been using because I want to replace this color with my own. So the colors that I have, I have kind of like a brand style guide here, is this one, this uh, kind of like creamy color. So I'm just going to change on the background style, remove the link and paste your color. Click apply and as you can see already it is my color and the last thing I'm going to do in this background section is I'm going to make it slightly narrower for the text to look better because if I'm going to save this right now you will notice, I'm going to click on preview again, you will notice that the page is a little bit wide and it's kind of hard to read so I'm actually going to change the width of it by uh, by going to main options, I'm standing on my background section under main options instead of inherit width from landing page I'm going to remove that and I'm going to choose the maximum width to be about 900. And this already looks better. Fabulous. Now, the next thing that I want to do is, as you can see, my opt-in form and my image are a little bit too close together. So I'm going to stand on my opt-in form and add some padding to the top to make it a little bit more further away from my image. I'm going to click on 25 maybe and then save work. And then instead of get your free guide, I want to change the copy to what I pre-made. Click to get free instant access. So I'm just going to stand on my form. And when I stand on my form, I'm going to click on edit form elements. And this will allow you me to edit all of the different elements. I'm going to paste my new copy here. And the last thing I'm going to change here is instead of those lines being kind of like brownish, I'm just going to go to borders and make them black. Apply. And you know what? I'm going to do one more thing because as you can see, when I look at my page right now, I'm going to preview it for you guys to see as well. As you can see, this button is black, meaning that it's a bit kind of like too similar to uh, my drawing, to my lead magnet. So I'm actually going to take my brand color and change the button to this brand color. So again, I'm going to stand on my form, main options, edit for elements. And I'm going to update the button with background color to be my brownish signature color. I save my work, give it a few seconds to load. And then as, as I'm going to click on preview, you will see that already I have my page and it's looking fabulous, if I might say so myself, right? Now, the last thing that I want to change is, is you notice that the links are kind of like colored. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to click on this setting icon, which allows me to change the default fonts created on this page. So I'm going to click on settings, search for fonts, and just going to click on the thing that pops up. I scroll down and I want to change the hyperlink by standing on this and changing the color to white and also removing the line from beneath it to not have anything at all on this page only. Click close and you will see that here on the footer, we no longer, longer have this annoying colors and wiggle thingy. So I'm just gonna save. Again, click on preview. And bam, my page is already created. Now the best thing is that Thrive is also uh, suitable for mobile. So if I'm gonna wanna see how this looks on mobile, all I need to do is to go to the bottom of my page and click on this little icon that is essentially like a phone icon and you will see how this page looks on mobile. As you can see, the headline is a little bit too big for mobile. So let me go to main options, make the copy <clears throat> even smaller, maybe 25. And this one also I'm going to make smaller, maybe 18. And maybe the line height, as you can see, the spaces are a little big. So let's change the spaces to be like this. And last thing I'm going to do is, as you can see, like there is a bit of a gap between the headline and the fonts below. So I'm going to go to main options and I'm going to remove the space a little bit here as well. This already looks better, right? Now maybe here on the form, I'm gonna add some padding here to make it look a little bit better. Instead of 25, let's put it to 45. 
And this already looks bomb. Yes. Let's save work. And essentially our page is kind of sort of already done. The last thing that we want to do, step number three, is to actually connect this page into my email marketing service. And in order to do that, I'm going to stand on the form. I'm going to go to main options and I'm going to click send leads to add connection. I'm going to click on add connection. And on the back end, I've actually already connected my active campaign account because this is something you only have to do once. So mine is already connected. I'm going to choose active campaign. And then you will notice the coolest thing happens. Thrive actually pulls out all kinds of different email lists that I already have inside my active campaign account. And all I need to do is to choose the kind of email list that I want people to go to once they sign up on this page. So in this case, I'm sure I have black book of business tools lead magnet I'm gonna apply and save work and once I did I'm gonna click one last time on preview and as you can see my landing page is done 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 so so I hope that this video has helped you in creating your landing page for your business I hope that it was not as overwhelming as other videos might get sometimes too long or too complicated. If you need any help, any advice, any questions that you might have, please hit me in the comments below. If you want any other trainings on exactly how to do uh, email marketing, how to install WordPress and stuff like that, simply head off to, over to my channel because I have a bunch of other stuff there. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Until then, yeah, bye.